Well, an artifact of Mars. And the ACLU, the Anti-Christian Liberals Union, launches nationwide protest training uh, for training and resistance. Nationwide training and protest and resistance. Uh, now that's very interesting. It appears that ACLU is probably in George Soros' pocket. I don't know why this should surprise me. Any American Civil Liberties Union staged nationwide training event Saturday to make people make sure people are aware of their rights as protesters and urged organized public resistance by those opposed to the policies of Donald Trump. Organizers said the event at the sports arena on University of Miami campus was live streamed to its locations in all 50 states. ACLU Executive Director Anthony e. Romero said 200,000 people had signed up to attend one at an estimated 2,000 local events. I didn't read that right, but it gets the point across. Uh, the event staged in town hall style was aimed at capitalizing on numerous demonstrations since Trump's election in November and to make sure people know their rights to protest, Romero said. No, you are instigating violence and uh, you are instigating sedition, Mr. Romero. Go to jail. He said priority issues are immigration, the First Amendment, free speech, and religious freedom rights, civil and pr reproductive rights, and rights of gays, lesbians, lesbians, transgender. Same old thing. We will bring lawsuits necessary to defend these rights, Romero said. We will do the work in the courts. You do the work in the streets. People are motivated. They want to be engaged. This is communism, basically. They're uh, working up communist agitators. They're training communist agitators. I'm thinking the ACLU must be in the pocket of George Soros. The ACLU also launched a new grassroots campaign online organizing, organizing platform called peoplepower.org. It's built as a way for people considering a local protester rally to connect or coordinate with others around the country with similar intentions and to provide details of ACLU initiatives. Another, another plan is, sorry about that, creation of freedom cities across the country that would encourage local officials to pass laws resisting Trump policies such as stepped up deportations of people living in the country illegally said Faiz Shakir, ACL's U National Political Director. In other words, you're promoting sedition. Other parts of Saturday's event detailed rules for demonstrations on the streets sidewalks and public parks and people's rights people have when arrested such as rights remain silent. ACLU uh, snake, I mean attorney, Lee Rowland said large demonstrations generally require a large local permit. The government can't typically shut down protesters in public places without good reason. The government can't censor you just because it disagrees with your opinion, Rowland said. I would disagree with that. I went in many years ago, years ago uh, during the Clinton administration, Hologram Hillary came to Ganang, it's a Indian place west of where I live, and I was out there picketing her, and the cops harassed the shit out of me. Uh, Orleans County, especially one of the corrupt sheriffs there, Sheriff's deputies harass the shit on me. Their uh, entire department is corrupt. And 
that was because I was conservative. I still had a little sign that I held up, by the way. I still had that sign. And, you know, they're basically run by commies there in Orleans County. Anyway, also speaking at the event was uh, and that's not going to happen. P.L., an Indian-born cookbook, author, actress, model, and television host. She said she emigrated to the U.S. age four and said the nation appears to be retreating from its welcoming ways. That is a lie. You are a liar. Liar, liar, pants on fire. You are a liar, madam. We're not retreating from our welcoming ways. We're trying to keep out the illegal people and protect our country from bad guys wanting to come in here and do us harm. Lately, I started feeling what like, started to feel like an outsider. She said, "What makes American great is our culture of inclusion. We must not tolerate in intolerance." Another liberal indoctrinated by <laughs> liberalism. All right. Well, anyway. There you have it. Uh, looks to me like ACLU is in George Soros's pocket. Uh, ACLU is a major, major snake in the grass. They are seditious. They are anti-American. Uh, they are trying to undermine the Trump administration. That's not civil rights when you're trying to do that. That's something else. It's called sedition. This is a corrupt organization. It's seditious. They hate you know, the basic concepts of Americanism, American exceptionalism. They're liberals. They are a snake in the grass. I'm Artifacts of Mars. Thanks for watching.